Let's move on to something exciting. Kiko told me this figure was phenomenal. So I need to share this with the people here because if Kiko's excited about it, then I'm gonna be at least a little bit excited about it. This is the Present Toys Blade Warrior. So this is obviously Wesley, uh, Wesley Snipes Blade. So this is a figure I think that a lot of people have been looking forward to just because, you know, I think there was a Hot Toys version from really long ago, right? Yeah, and that one's pretty old school. And supposedly, this one's not yet up for PO, but the rumors are real leather, a lot of cool accessories, a really pretty solid head sculpt overall. I don't think it's like a 10 out of 10 head sculpt, but put the sunglasses on him. It looks pretty damn good. I think most people are going to put the glasses on him. Zach, I want to ask you, bro, what do you think about this present toys blade? Is this something you would be interested in? Um, not particularly. Um, I will say these photos look much better than the, I guess, like this photo, which we <laughs> talked about on our show on Tuesday. And I was like, bro, that's David Robinson. <laughs> David um, Robinson from the but, Spurs? <laughs> from the Spurs. Oh, my God. Um, however, I own... I think like three or four present toys figures and all of them are incredible. So really? Okay. Yeah. They are fantastic. I think their Django is probably one of my favorite figures of all time. Um, the mm. Godfather that they have is really well done too. I think I've had like two or three more. Um, yeah. Present David toys, <laughs> present toys is, is one of those companies that um, I think is in that upper echelon. Um, what's the, can I'm sorry if you said this, what's the price point on this one? I'm not sure yet. Not sure yet. Yeah. Cause it's not okay. for pre-order yet. So yeah, I don't think so, we know an exact price. So typically they um, they tend to be around like 180, 190, and that's kind of earlier when I'm talking about like 235 plus for Nathan Drake. Right, um, is a little bit up there for me, uh, but no, I I think Present Toys absolutely will deliver. Um, I did see that that uh, thing that you were talking about earlier, how they confirmed it was real leather, which I think is great. I think you know again, third party companies are really starting to push that envelope. Right, Hot Toys has only done real leather recently on their um, the Wolverine figure. So the fact that third party companies are getting into that higher quality materials, I think is great. So um, I think the portrait looks much better in these new photos and um, I'm not the biggest fan of blade, but like you said, the only other option is crazy expensive older hot toys figure. Uh, so this is, this is great for the collectors. Yeah, I think so too, bro. This is not going to be for me either, Zach, but I will say at the end of the day, dude, it, it's, it's one of those that I think people are going to really be amped about. I know Leal was posting about it. He's like, where can I get this? And I was like, it's not up for pre-order yet. So I saw that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a really dope figure. Kiko, you told me this was phenomenal. So I want to hear your thoughts, bro. What, what are you thinking about this present toys blade? If we have the opportunity for it to be real leather, that's really going to be a game changer because I may get an extra jacket to replace it on my Punisher. Nothing wrong with my Punisher. Oh, yeah. I can draw off my Punisher jacket, but I would love to have a real leather jacket on Punisher. Anyway, you want to talk about shelf presence. Again, mm -hmm. this is that shelf presence. And mom just came home, so I know Drago's going to say something in just a minute. He's got opinions <laughs> on What's this. the time? It's an hour exactly. It's an, an hour, hour on the dot. So yep. I'm, I'm... There he is. Yep. Hour on the dot, baby. Hour on the dot. Place Drago your bets, guys. <laughs> yep. Drago made his appearance. There he is. Yeah. But... I don't see the people saying that they don't think that's Wesley Snipes. I think it certainly does with the glasses on for sure. Um, it's the, the <laughs> thank you, Draco. <laughs> the, the shelf presence to me is just too good. Imagine posing this up with Morbius or something. I think that'd be really, really cool. So that's kind of my, my plan long-term. And if you do like this character, if you do have an affinity for the blade franchise or anything like that, Right, as Drago certainly does. So, <laughs> it's all with, good, dude. yeah. With that being said, is that if you have an affinity for this character, you don't want to go and pay the gobs of money for such an inferior 1.0 that Hot Toys put out a while back. I mean, the body proportions, the head sculpt, the tailor, everything. I mean, it's just one of those like a uh, little blobby potato looking figures, if you want to call it that. It's got some <laughs> issues. So, if you want a really good blade, I mean, this is it. This is cool. And even the he loves it. Even that tattoo on the side of the neck. I think that's so cool. So that's it. I'll, I'll go off mute. So, uh, so we don't have to hear Drago anymore. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Drago is a, is a welcome part of the show, but as far as blade warrior goes, I'm glad Zach, you gave us a little bit of context with the present toy stuff. I know people were really amped about that present toys, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. People went that crazy figure for. is fantastic. Is it good? I've, okay. I've tried to track one down, but I, I think that ship has sailed, but yeah, that, yeah. That figure's fantastic. Yeah, I think that's kind of what, from what I remember at least, that's where Present Toys really hit the ground running. Everyone was like, oh shit, Present Toys. Like that Indiana Jones was like going wild. Then I think they reissued it or something. I, I don't recall exactly, but something along those lines. So, oh, it's the Django. Dude, I had that Django actually, but is that them? Yeah, that's Present Toys. 
Oh. You sold it or what? Oh. That head sculpt is really good. I remember that. I forget. Yeah, that's elite right there. I was dating a girl at the time and she was like, that might be the best head sculpt that you have. And I was like, really? It's the Django. It's yeah. so great. It is great. I love dude. this figure. Yeah. That's a great figure. It's a great figure. Absolutely. That said, guys, let us know what you think about uh, Blade Warrior, Mr. Blade, Wesley Snipes in the chat below. And yeah, thank you so much for your thoughts on that one.